Hernando Ocampo was a self-taught artist and writer whose late work consists of bold, colorful abstract shapes borrowed from nature. Ocampo was born in Manila, but grew up in the nearby city of Calucan. He originally studied law, business, and creative writing, and worked as a writer before he taught himself the visual arts. During his career as a writer, he was one of the organizers of Veronicans, a young group of progressive and prolific writers. He worked for various periodicals, such as Taliban newspaper and Manila Sunday Chronicle magazine. He also worked as a scriptwriter and director for television, and produced and directed for the Filipino Players Guild. Ocampo was a member of the Saturday Group of Artists, also known as the Taza de Oro Group and was one of the pre-war 13 Moderns, a group of modernist artists founded by Victorio C. Edades in 1938, along with Vicente Manansala and Cesar Legaspi, Ocampo made neorealist works that reflected the harsh realities of his country after the Second World War. He also made boldly colored images of the Philippine countryside. In the 1960s, Ocampo invented a new style of abstract painting that was inspired by Philippine flora and fauna. These paintings formed visual melodies that seem to move and multiply and are full of bold, interlocking forms that enclose areas of contrasting color. Asked about these abstract paintings, Ocampo explained, In my pictures, I'm more interested in how shapes, hues, values, textures, and lines interact with one another in space, rather than capturing a photographic semblance of nature. In addition to being recognized for his paintings, Ocampo was known as a writer and poet. He wrote a book of poetry titled Don't Cry, Don't Fret, and a fictional novel titled Rice and Bullets. Ocampo's best-known painting is Genesis, which became the basis of the design for a curtain that hangs in the main theater of the cultural center of the Philippines. Ocampo died at the age of 67 in Calucan. After his death, he was declared a National Artist for the Visual Arts in 1991.